This is Martin Carlisle with the Pico CTF 2017 problem, TWGRE1 Art. Oh sweet, they made a spin-off game to Toaster Wars. That's a reference back to the 2013 Pico CTF. That last room has a lot of flags in it. I wonder which is the right one. Check it out here. All right, so here is a game. I'm apparently a toaster. I can attack and then collect items. All right, well, before we play the game, let's go back and about this more. I think the game is running on a Node.js server. If it's configured poorly, you may be able to access the server's source. There's a special file that lists dependencies and a start command. Well, that's package.json. So I've got package.json from the website. So I took this address, added package.json to the end. And this tells me that I can look at server init.js and server serve.js. Server init.js tells me about the database, but it doesn't give me any uh, username and password. I, those are going to be read from environment variables. So that's not super helpful. Serve.js gives me a reference to game. So if I look at game.js and I look for the word flag, I'm going to see that there is a reveal flag which will get the flag out of an environment variable if the item has a check which is 64. All right, so that's going to be important. Those are the only three occurrences of flag. So now we need to figure out how we're going to find this. If we look up here at the top of the file, we'll see that we have a config. Here's our config. If we look through flag, we have this function for creating the flag that will reveal the flag, which is what we were looking for, maybe. And it'll have an identifier. Now here is where we create the flag. And you remember that we needed the value to be 64 in the check variable. Okay, so how could we get 64 in the check variable? Well, we see that we have this row and column. And we're going to take our index divided by 5 and our index mod 5 plus 1, and we're going to get that somehow. <laughs> number of attempts, we have finally reached the fourth floor in the creaky kitchen. I've dropped some of these items. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to make sure we've counted properly. Like we wanted to be in column 5 and row 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'll drop all these other flags. That's the flag that we wanted. And voila, we have found the secret that we are looking for. At least the world wasn't destroyed by a meteor. 